Ah, uh, hello, welcome back to another Bob's Burgers reaction. We're on season 7, episode 13 and 14. This is actually the first time I'm recording videos since I've, you know, decided to do two episodes an episode, which is why, you know, I'm actually recording a proper intro and not just mashing together two random ones. But yeah, what are these called? The Grand Mama Pest Hotel and Quadricism. Okay, I'm gonna be, I don't know what to really expect from both of these. I mean, with the first one, obviously they're going to something like a hotel or something, but the way that it's like... The episode title is. It sounds like as if they're going to like, you know, someone's like great grandma's hotel or some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, it's probably not, but I could be, you know, that could actually be correct. And also, aquaticism. I have no clue what to expect from that, to be honest. I mean, it kind of, it reminds me of like aquariums and shit. So maybe they go to an aquarium or somewhat, maybe it's a, it's a aquaticism. Has that got something to do with like be working at? Like, working at one of the, like, an aquarium or some shit, or am I just making shit up? I don't know. But yeah, let's just get into this first one. Okay, thanks, Mr. Fron. Oh, God. The what the fuck is Mr. Fron talking about? Talk I hate him. Well, him. well, not hate, but, like, I just, he, he annoys <laughs> oh, no, no. me. So you're in, Mom? <laughs> yeah, me and my teeny Tina are off to the heroin conference. Wait, what? Heroin conference? Yeah, what? You mean, like, a jazz concert? That really isn't the best name. Well, <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, what did you mean, heroin concert? It sounds like as if, you know, as if, like, the... Taking fucking heroin or something. This is an overnight field trip, and you are- Oh wait, it is, okay. And when you hear it, you better fear it. So let's hear it, let's hear the tough voice, come on. What? I just did it, that, that was it. That was, that was the tough <laughs> oh, that, that wasn't was very it. intimidating. That was, right that was it. Oh my god, Tammy, I'm so glad we're rooming together. Me too. We're gonna stay up late and pretend it's our apartment and we're so tired of the dating scene. Okay, okay then, you sure. I'm rooming with a cool older girl who happens to be married to my dad. Oh. Bus driver? Wait, oh. No, my... Yeah, I didn't know who she meant for a second. Here's something fun and mandatory. Okay. One yeah, I love how he says mandatory. The conference people picked like, it's probably more to mandatory than fun. During the Q&A. Whoa. Did you hear that, Mom? Huh? What? No. <laughs> no chaperone. I don't have to listen to him. I mean, fair enough. There's our guy. So... <sighs> No dames tonight, just us boys. So what are we doing? Yeah, okay. Us, <laughs> uh, we could watch a movie, maybe like a guy movie. Oh hell yes. Like what? Magic Mike, final. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Why maybe Magic Mike else. though? Great. Let's close up the slap shop and get. I mean, we basically got a fucking Bob's Burger Ma Mike Magic Mike show with Bob, like a season or two ago. I can't remember what episode. Wow. Never seen so many girls my age in one place before. That's I was about to say, are they even your age? They look older. <laughs> okay, Jesus Christ. It's not the mall. Okay, <laughs> do I have everyone's questions for the astronaut? Let's see. Tammy Larson asks, how do you poop in space? <laughs> I mean, that's a fair question, though, to be honest. I think I do know the answer, but, but I can't exactly remember. Mrs. Belcher, would you mind getting us checked in? Sure. Check me out getting checked in. Okay, nice, then. Mom. Amazing. Who is this? What chapter are you on? Uh, the one before she goes to space, but after she started karate. That's a okay. good one. That's it. But my friends call me Blaze. Sure. They don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Why would you even lie? What a weird fucking lie to make up, though. Okay, looks like your block of rooms is good to go. Make sure to join us for the buffet breakfast by our beautiful water feature. Oh, oh hell yes. Amazing. It's not that amazing, to like be honest. Green. It looks like it's really weirdly placed, room. though. Would you like one key or two? Two for me and my daughter slash BFF. With okay. Roomies. Yeah. That's so sweet. Enjoy it while it lasts. Right. <laughs> Wait. I mean, she's not wrong though, to be honest. Oh, but Tina's Tina. She's Mama's little girl. That's your sure. daughter. She's talking to my daughter. Oh wait. Oh, I didn't even realize look? that that would be you know related. Wait, this. Oh, are that? You? This is your mom too. Are we sisters? <laughs> this is fun. Yes. Chaperonettes fighting Apparently. Each other in a crowd. Hi, Dylan. No thanks. Okay. <laughs> mom, Dylan okay, and I were wondering if we could room together. Oh. What? Okay. Well, I guess it's already fucking started. Oh, then I could room with you, Linda. I, I mean, I guess so. Tonight and then drive back in the morning. It's just four hours away. Four Tina, hours. What Jesus. What about our mommy-daughter weekend? Mom, please. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a weird sure. way of fucking but saying it. Change your mind. I'll yeah, be right here. Thanks, mom. Yep. Welcome yep. to the rejected mom. <laughs> it's probably a joke. Oh god. Linda, please for the love of God do not do what you did with Louise in that one episode go fucking overboard and trying to make her like you. I can't believe Tina ditched me for some girl she just met. Ah, they'll like us again by the time they're 30. <laughs> Jesus. Nice for friend. 30? I thought That's it would have been like, I don't know, card. at least That's 21 or something. A lot of pictures of us sleeping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's creepy and weird. It's almost as good as actually hanging out with Dylan. <laughs> Again, that, that, that's a depressing way of putting it. Okay, 
guy movies. Uh, oh, hell I've got yes. Young Clint Eastwood. I've nice. got middle aged Charles Bronson. Yes. I've got Are these old even? Michael Caine. <laughs> and I've got Bachelor Party, which is probably. Oh, hell yes. Tom Hanks in the 80s? Please. Is that a real movie? That sounds familiar, but I have no fucking clue. Surprisingly enough, I haven't actually seen that many movies. I don't know. I've always liked. TV shows more than movies, to be honest. See, this is the momless, Tina-free fun we've been looking for. Is Dad, it? We're gonna give you the bachelor party you never. <laughs> Wait, had. what? A bachelor party. Guys, no. Sure, I, I mean, party. I don't yeah, that would be very I fucking mean, odd, especially since your children are throwing it. But to be fair, I wouldn't fucking day. doubt them. They could probably pull something off. Hi, mom. Uh, what's up? Just checking in. Oh, the hell is that? Yeah, what you doing? What's this? Reading tarot cards? Oh, yeah, I don't know why that wasn't obvious. Good chaperoning, pal. I think we're all set here. Good night. Oh, I get what's yeah. going on. You think the mean, pretty chaperone came to crack down on your fun? Well, I left my chaperone hat in my room. My room key, too. Okay, yeah, but this is fucking awkward. Like, realistic, no. It'll be fucking awkward trying to have fun with... Your fucking parents in the same room. But Mr. Franz said if we leave the room, we'll get sent home. Ah, don't worry about Mr. No Fun Franz. Okay, you're then. Me. Wow, Tina, your mom's a lot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, that, that is actually a good way of fucking putting it, though, to be honest. Another round of shots, gentlemen? Oh, hell yes. I think I've had oh, all the other What is that, orange juice? Stomach, That's a yes. Or juice? apple juice. Yeah! Speeches! Speeches! <laughs> Let me tell you something about this son of a bitch! Okay, Speech then. Off, no speech. Oh, boo. <laughs> Having a good time, Dad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just in there drinking tonight? fucking apple I'll juice. I oh, mean, no. it could be <laughs> worse. Maybe somebody ordered a sexy surprise? What? No Perfect. fucking way. I'll... You invited Teddy? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was some sort of stripper did until I've realized that, you know, it's fucking children that would uh, would have had to call it. Oh, God. Dylan, are you yawning? I think we're both yes. yawning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe we should both go to bed. Bed? What? But the most fun part has- At this point, Tina should just fucking walk away. Like, Linda's not gonna fucking let it go. What am I doing? Just popping the top off this little bottle of shampoo and, uh, Eh. Mom, no. Whoa. It's fun. You do. Wouldn't that fucking make bubbles go everywhere? Some shit. It's starting to foam. Come on, yeah. Man. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. Feature. Is someone throwing shampoo into a water feature? Yeah, you seem to have, like run. Okay, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Just go. Yeah, oh, obviously. Right. Linda. Oh no. Yeah. As in, oh no, you didn't. Uh, at least he didn't do his tough voice. <laughs> yeah, oh, did you not hear the fucking tough voice of her? Bob? Linda, is everything okay? I no. need you to come here. What? You're two hours away. What's going on? Now, there's been some trouble and someone's getting sent home. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you. Guys, volume. Pressing Facebook. See, I was gonna say, isn't that just to make them fucking t turn it up? I got in trouble and I'm getting sent home. Oh my god. I can't <laughs> yeah, I mean. Stereo. Oh, you're on the phone. Sorry, Bob. Uh, thanks for waiting for your dad with me, Tina. <laughs> yeah, I mean, silent treatment of that would be peace as well because like she didn't even want to do any of this shit. What? Tina, they picked your question? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, Mom, but you were too busy embarrassing me and being crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that sure fucking that face. Light, that is, you know, Linda, honestly the face of being exactly? crazy. Nothing. It was nothing. It wasn't nothing. We have a beautiful water feature in our courtyard, and your wife threw shampoo bottles into it. I mean, courtyard is technically that's not that deep, but like, that is still fucking, like, you know, kind of insane. Especially when she was trying to make it so Tina fucking doesn't, you know, stop talking to her or some shit like that. <sighs> that fucking it's bed like sheet Tina is insane. Off like that. She didn't mean anything by it. I mean, she definitely meant it. Yes. She won't tomorrow. But it was kind of on you for fucking doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is, my teeny teeny. Like, I, I, I understand where Linda's coming from, but she needs to, like, let go at some point. Just... Tina, what? I feel like. On? You're embarrassing me, Mom. What the? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Also, I love the way that, that Tina's still running like that, even in the fucking dream scrapbook thing. I'm losing Tina. I well, they try and force it on the, then you fucking I won't. Got most of the pen off my face, thanks, guys. For oh, that. okay. Oh, look, that's more than what I thought it would have been. Lynn, you coming? What if? Hear me out for a second. Oh God. This is gonna be good. Yeah, uh, amazing. If instead of going home, we sneak into the hotel to see what? Tina ask a question to the lady astronaut. Oh, not as good as I thought I mean, it was gonna be. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be more insane to be honest. I need to get into that conference. I don't know, just have a You're fucking conversation after hotel. this. Well, 
I could wear a disguise. A disguise. Okay, then. I'm back on board. <laughs> That's why you're gonna marry this gal. Okay. You really want to do this? I need to do this. Okay. Red flags all over. The yes. Place. It says Bernadette Baker goes on in 15 minutes. An astronaut and a karate expert. Pick a lane. <gasps> That's her. What? Uh, I gotta pee. Uh, okay. You guys find seats and I'll be right back. Aww. Yeah, what? That is very fucking suspicious. <clears throat> oh, Louise. What are you up to, Mom? Yeah. What? Nothing. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. But don't okay. tell your father. I can't get through to Tina, but you know what can? Some strong hair. Oh, God. No, that's not going to work. Surely that's going to make things worse. Zero gravity, zero fear. Okay. Bernadette, you are cleared for takeoff. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, she does fucking karate. Like... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, you're just a lady. I yeah. thought you were my sensei testing me. He oh, wears that thing okay. as well. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, sure. My real identity? Well, let's just say I'm a mother with a daughter. Okay, you're a mother, then. right? I am not a mother. Yeah, you it's say okay. You're a mother in your book. It did not say that. I did not read it. <laughs> yeah, but clearly. At the end of your speech, my daughter is going to ask who inspired you to go to space. And I need you to say, my mother. I'm sorry, you want me to do what? Yeah, it's a lie. doesn't understand the importance of a mommy-daughter relationship. I mean, I guess so, but like... I... That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, doing this is very, like, forceful. And it's kind of... You are kind of being insane for this. Just... You need to just let it go. So, in conclusion, outer space, determination, okay. and karate. Thank yeah, you. amazing. Thank you. Amazing speech. Wow. I, I, I mean, she is inspired. actually pretty good, though, to be fair. Are you crying? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Time for the Q&A. Oh, hell yes. question was picked, please line up behind one of the microphones. Okay, here it comes. What? Nothing, nothing. I still feel like I'm not even sure if she's going to be telling the truth. Next question, go ahead. Hi, I'm Tina. I'm 13 years old. And I'd like to know, who inspired you to go to space? Oh. Hmm. Come on, astronaut lady. Lynn, shh. You shush. Sorry. <laughs> the person who inspired me to go to space. I wanted an actual was... answer, though, to be say honest. It, say it. My seventh grade chemistry. Yeah, she fucking lied. Oh my god, please don't make a scene. Oh my god. Well, let me first say. Uh, excuse me, Bernadette. Oh god. Um, Back to that last girl. Oh, God. Blue I'm sorry. She's actually kind of annoying me this episode. Like, um, um, what's it called when you're not the daddy, but you're the... Oh, oh my God. Up to the follow-up. What happens if your mom acts crazy and more yes. to sneak into a thing, even though you told her she couldn't come? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, this is turning into a fucking disaster, though, to be honest. Not, she just wanted to hang out with her new friend her own age. Huh, Bernadette? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is so... The fact that they're, like, publicly having this discussion is making it even more fucked, to be honest. Mom, I don't think it's weird to be close to you. You did embarrass me last night. Yes. And a lot right now. And I'm sure a lot yeah, more in the future. Yeah, honestly. But I'm lucky I have a mom I'm close to. And I don't ever want that to change. Oh, my team. <laughs> yeah, honestly, this discussion should have fucking happened, you know, at home. It, the fact that it's so public is kind of fucking insane. But I'm glad to at least live this, you know, hearing that she's been insane. Sorry, Bernadette. I, I guess I got to leave, but I just wanted to say thank you. It was a great story, and you're a real inspiration. Best bachelor party ever! <laughs> yes. Apparently so. Anyway, let's just go straight to the next one. Okay. I mean, it is at an aquarium. Tina, so I was right about that. Been at the touch tank forever. But I haven't even touched the sea cucumber. He's playing hard to get. Sea cucumbers are the weirdest fucking animals I've ever seen. Like, it just, it always just looks weird. Oh, hi, Judy. Feeding time, huh? No, just doing a detailed job on the urchin's anus. Oh, <laughs> amazing. It sure is, but it looks like I won't be able to do it much longer. Okay, oh, what is it dying? How to brush its own anus? No, the aquarium is shutting down. Oh, wait, what? what? Okay, was she... The aquarium is shutting down? I know. I haven't been to an aquarium in fucking years. Question. Have you considered making more money? I yes. Have. Amazing. I the keychain section to include my handmade jewelry. They make great gifts. I mean, oh, I, I guess mean, so. They make gifts. You just need more people in here. We could try to rustle up some customers for you. I mean, I, all the time is that going to work through? Hey, guy walking by. Do you love aquarium? Sure you do. I mean, yeah. Like, how often do you actually get people in the restaurant doing this thing? <laughs> okay, have a good one. Wait, they tipped you eight dollars? Yep. Jeez, yeah, that's geez. a huge tip. Yeah, I, I don't get tips like that. Of course not. Wait, why? Of course not. Oh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it because they attracted to Linda? Come off a little surly. <laughs> oh, what? okay, then fine. Eh, may I suggest gruff? Well, <laughs> you're not conventionally charming. 
Okay, okay did you? I just laying a sh fucking straight out there. I can turn on the charm if I want to, Lynn. I can okay. get tips. Big. I want to see his Why charm. Why don't you uh, show us what you got? Okay, I will. All right. Okay. So, how's everyone doing this afternoon? This late afternoon. Yep, yeah, amazing. Hey, thanks. <laughs> so, uh, the... You're just making this awkward. Oh my god, that was horrible. Yeah, oh, it kind of was. Made everyone so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what even use? At the aquarium, it's shutting down. You mean the keychain store? It's an aquarium. <laughs> oh, the little one by the ferry. <laughs> what do you mean the key? I mean, I guess no they did sell keychains, but still. Taxes. Wait, aren't aquariums non-profits? It's really yeah, a wait, keychain are they? store. With oh. fish. And your body I mean, I guess so, to be fair. It's too bad they're not a church or a place of worship. Then they'd be tax exempt. Wait, <laughs> churches don't pay taxes? Oh my god, please don't say they're going to turn this aquarium into a fucking eat, church. So it balances out. Interesting. Oh my god, I right, guess. Tina? I mean, I guess. that is a good fucking loophole, to be fair, because I do find it kind of dodgy that churches don't have to pay tax. And they walk you through it. In 12 to 25 easy steps, you can become a tax-exempt place of worship. Okay. But are, are they gonna fucking start a, like a fucking aquarium, like a religion? religion? I don't know. Yeah. Hey, look, I'm not much of a lion brand myself, but if it means keeping this place open, then we'll do what we gotta okay, do. Okay, well, the fact that Tate is on board means we might as well just do it, considering that she's normally against this type of shit. All right, let's do it. Surely, like, if they figure out that you're lying, that you should get in some sort of, like, trouble or something making up a religion to get out of paying taxes this is giving me queasy knees yeah that's how you know you're doing the right thing <laughs> going? Okay, i mean okay question. please provide a brief history of the church I don't oh god i mean they're gonna have to make up they could louise could probably make up some sort of shit congratulations everyone i mean so, okay is this place a church now did apparently so i mean if they I think we did if they fucking agree to it what do we got here uh, imagine, if, imagine if this fucking fake ass religion actually takes off. What's this? Wait, what the Any fuck? No way it was that quick. An agent will be in contact with you to arrange an inspection. Oh god, yeah. Well played. I mean, to be fair though, that's that. I don't know why I didn't see that coming sooner. Bob, watch this. Watch what I do. John okay. In session. I call this the tiny tap with a hun. How's the burger, hun? Great. All right, hun. Three dollar tip minimum. I okay, that was actually okay, fucking, so you know, more customers. simple than what yeah, I was expecting. Say, but it's different if I do. Yeah, I was gonna say, would that come across creepy if Bob does it? Try it. Try it on me. Okay. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> oh, I just touched your shoulder. Yeah, so that's literally what Linda just better, did. And say Han. Okay, Han. Ugh. Yeah, okay, yeah, it does come across creepy. Church. I say, this place looks. Pretty much like an aquarium with a couple of religious signs slapped up. Yeah, and like a, it's fucking run but down to right? shit. What? No, I mean it was, but it, it's not. It's a church. I mean we're trying to get. Oh god, yeah, you're not fucking selling this very well. This is the Aquaticism Youth Group, the Groupers. They should talk now. Yeah, we're the Groupers. Yeah, amazing. Group is very active in the church. You know, it's a wonderful church. So wonderful. Yep. And amazing such a church. This is this entire fucking aquarium though looks weird though because it just looks like. It looks, it's just how run down as shit it is. It wasn't that bad. You were. But, fortunately for you, I had an idea. We go okay. with fun teasing guy. No touching, just fun teasing. Surely, I don't think Bob's gonna be good at that. Like, I feel like it would just come across that he's being a dick. You're talking to the customers, you give them the business. Okay. Smash the business, like this. Watch this, watch me. Oh. Hey, Teddy, mm. slow down, your stomach called. You said your <laughs> mouth needs to chew your food. <laughs> that just sounds fucking mean, though, to be honest. <laughs> My stomach. Like, I feel like if Bob tried that, it would be, it would come across as he'd been mean. Hey, uh, how's everybody doing? Pretty good. We're celebrating Marty's birthday. Mm -hmm. He wanted a burger. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, by the looks of Marty, it, oh, uh, God. it may be his, his last one. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> what do you think that? <laughs> yeah, that's... I fucking want to, I don't know what he expected, though, to be honest. Okay, we can come back to that question. And a bunch of the other ones. Let me tell oh, you about God. this touch tank. You could come in here no matter what kind of day you had. No matter what Tammy told Jocelyn... I mean, uh, this is actually... Did, but hope no the way she's saying this actually does make you sound convincing, though, to be honest. tank for a little while, and it's like you're a starfish in a tide pool. Okay. Nothing bothers a starfish in a tide pool. Except me touching it. You should give it a whirl. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't. I don't think so. No. You might like it, Agent. Oh my God, is he actually? Are they gonna convert this fucking guy into this fake ass religion, and they're gonna have to continue it for like ever? Yeah. Let me tell you something. You would not believe the crap that people try to pass off as religion. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how gullible does everyone think I am? Very apparently, considering that you're falling for this. It is. It is. It's beautiful and 
Thoughtful. It's answering questions I didn't even know I had. Totally, bro. All yeah. Right, well, here you go. These are all the tax documents you need. So wait, it, it, the fact that this is actually working, it's, it's both surprising. Yes. You know, I, oh. I can't shake the feeling that I somehow belong here. Oh okay, God, I'm fucking you it. Anytime. Oh, look at this. Your church has some neat activities lined up. Singles mixer tomorrow. That sounds fun. Oh, is that tomorrow? Are oh, they gonna have to I fucking? That schedule's wrong, Judy. All the singles ugh, died, and then. Okay. You know, it's okay with you. I I'd love to dip my toes into aquaticism. So to speak. Okay. I fucking knew that he was going to end up converting to this fake ass religion. We don't have a congregation. Right. What is it? What does that even mean? Am I stupid from never hearing that word before? I mean, I'm not really religious, so if it's a religious thing, that's why. Having a fake church is probably immoral. And yes. lying to the IRS is definitely <laughs> yeah, illegal. Sounds like a really, really bad idea. I'm in. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking, of course, Lindsay's in. Mother. It sounds fun. Singles makes it for a good cause. Let's go. Why not? Uh, okay. Because it's fraud, right? Yeah. I don't, feel, I don't think people decay that much, though, to be honest. Imagine they actually get people into Pretty this fucking religion. Mixer, huh? It's awkward and sad. That feels right. We might be good here. <laughs> can, can I ask you something? Where did you find this amazing jewelry? It's like fish, but ju Is that the one she made? <laughs> you wish. You know what? Now I'm worried. This might be going too well. <laughs> yes. Too like, it, what if they Is fucking get gonna... together no, and that to fucking try and, to you know, keep this you shit going forever? Services that don't exist. How long do we have to keep coming to this place? Are we going to have to raise our children in this church? <laughs> ah. Guys, we got to make him reconsider a life of aquaticism. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Aquaticism isn't for everyone because our baptism ceremony is... Well, what are they gonna say? There's a fucking shark you have to in the water. To join aquaticism, you have to submerge yourself in the jellyfish. Oh, tank. okay. It's not as severe as I was expecting it to. It's awful. It's like circumcision for your whole body. <laughs> Ew. Your penis. Okay, but it's the then. only way to show you're truly dedicated. I, I mean, like, that wouldn't be a fucking insane ass way to join a religion, though, to be so, honest. Yeah, that's aquaticism for you. Have fun at the mixer. Okay. That should do it. It probably won't. He's going to do it. Let's be real. Oh, my God. I love this song. Oh, hell yes. Who wants to touch the crabs in my touch tank? <laughs> <laughs> Linda, look at this. It's called the Tuscaloosa Twister. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Whoa. Whoa. So violent and uncomfortable looking. <laughs> yes. May I cut in? Oh, what the fuck? I didn't realize Mort was here. Hey. Is it I, mean, I guess it makes it sense. Church? So fun, so positive. Oh god, sure it's just making him day. like it well, even more. Then I am ready. You're taking off your shoes. Oh my god, is he actually going in right now? Fuck me. Shirt. Yeah. I'm sure there's a reason for that. There we go. <sighs> okay, I have a question. Why did you take off all your clothes? Because he's going in the because fucking tank. I am ready to face my fears. I am ready to join. A oh my god. Okay then. That is a fucking small take, never mind. No, He's gonna be disappointed when he finds out this is isn't you know, an actual know, fucking religion. I, I want them to. I mean, I don't, but I want to experience it. I okay. want to join the church. Oh, that's beautiful, but you know what? I, I don't think it's, um, <clears throat> stinging season. I don't know if I'll have the nerve another time. It's, okay. it's, it's gotta be now. Okay, so do I go into shock? Is there a medic on hand? Uh, uh, no. Hello. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah. not sure what's going on. Yeah, collect your fucking dead body once you die from these jellyfish. It's fake, it's fake, it's all fake, it's not a real religion. Okay. We lied to get out of paying taxes. Hey, they're not stinging me. Oh. Wait, did you just say it's all no. fake? No. No. Come on out, your skin's gonna get all pruney. No, seriously, did you just say a quantity? Oh, God, Tina. Get out of the tank! So is this whole place fake? Are the jellyfish fake too? I guess <laughs> yes. They are because I'm not even getting stuck. Oh, oh my god, okay, oh never god. mind. For a second, I thought they, were, they just weren't gonna see him. Oh. Oh god. Jesus Christ, okay, it's, it's not as bad as what I was expecting, though, to be honest. No, I didn't, but send them now. Looks like weird tattoos. Must be nice. So, you guys are here because... We heard you're not going to prosecute Judy for tax fraud. Which is <laughs> very generous. Yes. I mean, the aquarium is still closing because business stinks, but better than going to jail. Yay! Yep. So, we came to give you this we're sorry card. We didn't mean for you to get hurt. We just wanted you to believe the church was real. And then you joined it. Yeah. And then we didn't know what. I mean, he fucking had fun, I guess. Well, in retrospect, there were red flags. Yeah, plenty. Everything. <laughs> yes. Red flag. Even our red flags? Yeah. I guess but, I was just blinded by Judy. I mean, she's. Is that seriously the only reason why you fucking fought? Thought I was into aquaticism, but 
I guess I was into Judy. You should call her. Go to her. Nah, okay. She doesn't want to see me. Plus, I'm I mean, she she seems like she's having fun, so she probably does. Don't give up on Judy. We may have made a mess of a fake religion, but you two see cucumbers. I mean, yeah, I guess it. At least some good has come out of this, I Possibly? No. As we say in the IRS, my case is closed. Okay. Thanks for coming. That's a $10 tip. Fuck me, okay. So, Judy, you think you might want to give Roger <laughs> this a This is why it's impressive, though, because where the sure fuck are these fish gonna, and, like, nice. jellyfish going to go? want to go out with a tax cheat like me. We're just going to take a little trip to the beach. That's okay, all. I mean, Hi, at least he's re Roger, she's released into the wild. I smelled that lotion. You, you know, I, I didn't get a chance to say some things the last time we saw each other. Yeah, those paramedics <laughs> were in such a rush. Yeah, and especially after she committed tax fraud. You could keep this place in business by renting it out for parties. Like the oh, Aquaticism okay. party, but with less tax fraud. Yes. You think that would work? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could. We could do the two now and... Is this going well? I Apparently so. This is going really well. I gotta say, Tina, I didn't get what you saw in this place, but I, I, I kind, of, kind of get it now. I mean, I guess mm. so. You guys wanna... It would be cool, but like going here for fucking, like, you know. Out. I call that one. Oh, wait, that one's dead. I'm gonna look at this one. Okay, Gene, then. Look at that one? Oh, no. I mean, going there constantly would be fucking get boring, though, after a while, you'd think. Okay, where do I even begin? Okay, I'll go. I'll start with the first episode. That episode was interesting. Uh, it wasn't as good as, or exciting as, like, the second episode, but we'll get into that later. But, I mean, I could understand in that episode where Tina was coming, I mean, where Linda was coming from, because, you know, that, that, that te does tend to happen, at least somewhat. Once kids become like teenagers and shit, but like she was going fucking overboard, like which I mean I kind of expected though because remember the episode I think it was in like season three. It was uh, yeah I think it was in like season three where she was trying she thought that you know Louise didn't love her or something and she went absolutely overboard and that it was the laser tag in the episode I think like I knew it was gonna go that direction but oh my god the fact that she did that like I mean it's like like putting shampoo in the fountain or whatever is not that deep. But, like, it's still kind of insane, though, to be honest. Especially since your daughter and the new friend or whatever, I already forgot her name, didn't seem to give, like, two shits and, like, just wanted to go. The fact that Linda even tried to get the astronaut lady to fucking, like, lie and say, oh, yes, my mum was my inspiration or some shit like that. I feel like she was kind of being annoying at some points in this episode, but, I mean, at least they had the conversation. Like, I feel like you, that conversation they had should have been, you know, private at their home and not just... You know, on a microphone in front of a room of people, because that that would be embarrassing. But like, at, at the very least, it did happen to Linda, like realizing, okay, yeah, like I need to back off just a tiny bit. I mean, the bachelor party thing was cool as well. There's also the second episode, which the fact that I mean, of course, it is illegal to pretend to be a religion or whatever and get tax exception, whatever they said. But I'm, am I the only one that finds it dodgy that churches and that doesn't have to pay tax? Like, I don't know. I just personally, I find that really weird and dodgy. And I don't, and just do not see why that's a thing. But like, the fact that they had to come up with a fake religion and constantly keep, you know, keeping up the lie in that because, because obviously doing that's illegal. The fact that the IRS guy was actually starting to like the religion as well was kind of insane because like, it's basically just people coming to an aquarium and having fun. Like, I guess that would be cool, but still. Believing that's an actual religion is kind of insane. But, I mean, I guess he only fell for it because he liked the fucking aquarium lady, which, I mean, I guess that worked out in the end, them getting together, kind of, or going on a date at the very least. And he actually gave a solution on how to solve the aquarium shutting down, which, that aquarium, fuck me, it needs some renovations at the very least. Like, that building and just, like, inside in general looked run down and just old and weird as shit. Like, it looked like a fucking warehouse or something from the inside, to be honest, but... Oh, the fact that the guy actually went inside the jellyfish tank and got stung was insane. The fact that he thought that was the actual way of getting baptized was kind of funny, though, but... I don't know, I'm gonna leave it here. Those were two good episodes. I enjoyed them. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.